What is truth and Ali? Like, share and subscribe and ring the bell for more videos. The ostriches are a family, Struth and Ali, of flightless birds. The two extant species of ostrich are the common ostrich and Somali ostrich, both in the genus Struthio, which also contains several species known from Holocene fossils such as the Asian ostrich. The common ostrich is the more widespread of the two living species, and is the largest living bird species. Other ostriches are also among the largest bird species ever. Ostriches first appeared during the Miocene epoch, though various Paleocene, Eocene, and Oligocene fossils may also belong to the family. Ostriches are classified in the ratite group of birds, all extant species of which are flightless, including the kiwis, emus, and rears. Traditionally, the order Struthniforms contained all the ratites. However, recent genetic analysis has found that the group is not monophyletic, as it is paraphyletic with respect to the tinnimus, so the ostriches are usually classified as the only members of the order, though the agnus is a broader classification and includes all ratites and tinnimus in Struthniforms. Evolution The earliest fossils of ostrich-like birds are Paleocene taxa from Europe. Paleotis and Remyonis from the Middle Eocene An unspecified ratite remains are known from the Eocene and Oligocene of Europe and Africa. These may have been early relatives of the ostriches, but their status is questionable, and they may, in fact represent multiple lineages of flightless paleognaths. The African Emobsus, when not considered a basal secretary bird or shoebill, is sometimes considered an ostrich relative or an epi or ornithid like taxon. Apart from these enigmatic birds, the fossil record of the ostriches continues with several species of the modern genus Struthio, which are known from the early Miocene onwards. Several of these fossil forms are Ichnotaxa, that is, classified according to the organism's footprints or other trace rather than its body, and their association with those described from distinctive bones is contentious and in need of revision pending more good material. While the relationship of the African fossil species is comparatively straightforward, many Asian species of ostriches have been described from fragmentary remains, and their interrelationships and how they relate to the African ostriches are confusing. In China, ostriches are known to have become extinct only around or even after the end of the last ice age, images of ostriches have been found there on prehistoric pottery and petroglyphs. Ostriches have coexisted with another lineage of flightless didactyl birds, the Orgruids. Though Olson 1985 classified these birds as stem ostriches, they are otherwise universally considered to be related to cranes, any similarities being the result of convergent evolution. Competition from ostriches has been suggested to have caused the extinction of the Orgruids, though this has never been tested and both groups do coexist in some sites. As with most other ratites, ostriches are believed to have developed flightlessness in the wake of the Cretaceous Paleogene extinction event of about 66 Ma. The sudden absence of non-avian dinosaurs opened ecological niche space for large herbivorous animals and limited predatory threats, prompting volant ancestral paleognaths dispersed across the southern hemisphere to convergently lose the capability for flight. Distribution and habitat Today ostriches are only found natively in the wild in Africa, where they occur in a range of open arid and semi-arid habitats such as savannas and the Sahel, both north and south of the equatorial forest zone. The Somali ostrich occurs in the Horn of Africa, having evolved isolated from the common ostrich by the geographic barrier of the East African Rift. In some areas, the common ostrich's Maasai subspecies occurs alongside the Somali ostrich, but they are kept from interbreeding by behavioral and ecological differences. The Arabian ostriches in Asia Minor and Arabia were hunted to extinction by the middle of the 20th century, and in Israel attempts to introduce North African ostriches to fill their ecological role have failed. Escaped common ostriches in Australia have established feral populations. There is one species in this family. It is found in sub-Saharan Africa in dry grasslands. The ostrich is the world's largest living bird. It is up to 8 feet tall and weighs as much as 280 pounds. Ostriches have long necks, small heads, and long, 
powerful legs with two toes. Ostriches cannot fly, but they can run at speeds of up to 40 miles per hour. They use their wings to help them keep their balance when they are running. Ostriches use their speed to escape from predators. They also use their powerful legs to kick predators. Males have soft, shaggy black feathers, females have soft, shaggy grayish-brown feathers. Ostriches live in groups of up to 100 individuals, although most groups have around 10 birds. Males mate with 3-5 females, including one dominant female. All of the females lay their large eggs in a group nest. The nest is a scrape on the ground. The male incubates the eggs at night and the dominant female incubates the eggs during the day. A single nest may have as many as 25 eggs. The eggs hatch in around 25 days. The male and the dominant female care for the chicks and protect them from predators. The chick leave their parents when they are about a year old. Ostriches are nomadic and wander for place to place in search of food like leaves, seeds, grasses, roots, insects, and small reptiles and amphibians. Ostrich, Struthio is a genus of bird in the order Struthniforms, whose members are the ostriches. There are two living species, the common ostrich and the Somali ostrich. History The genus Struthio was first described by Carl Linnaeus in 1758. The genus was used by Linnaeus and other early taxonomists to include the emu, rhea and cassowary, until they each were placed in their own genera. The Somali ostrich, Struthia molybdophanes, has recently become recognized as a separate species by most authorities, while others are still reviewing the evidence. Evolution The earliest fossils of ostrich-like birds are Paleocene taxa from Europe. Paleotis and Remyonis from the Middle Eocene An unspecified ratite remains are known from the Eocene and Oligocene of Europe and Africa. These may have been early relatives of the ostriches, but their status is questionable, and they may, in fact represent multiple lineages of flightless paleognaths. The earliest fossils from this genus are from the early Miocene, and are from Africa, so it is proposed that they originated there. Then by the middle to late Miocene they had spread to Eurasia. By about 12 Maya they had evolved into the larger size of which we are familiar. By this time they had spread to Mongolia and later southern Africa. While the relationship of the African fossil species is comparatively straightforward, many Asian species of ostrich have been described from fragmentary remains, and their interrelationships and how they relate to the African ostriches are confusing. In China, Ostriches are known to have become extinct only around or even after the end of the last ice age. Images of ostriches have been found there on prehistoric pottery and petroglyphs. Struthio ostriches once coexisted with another lineage of flightless didactyl birds, the Orgruids. Though Olson 1985 classified these birds as stem ostriches, they are otherwise universally considered to be related to cranes, any similarities being the result of convergent evolution. Competition from ostriches has been suggested to have caused the extinction of the algroids, though this has never been tested and both groups do coexist in some sites. Species There are nine known species from this genus, of which seven are extinct. Three additional species, S. Panonicus, S. Manizensis, the giant ostrich, and S. Transcaucasicus, were transferred to the genus Pachys truthio in 2019. Several additional fossil forms are Ichnotaxa, that is, classified according to the organism's trace fossils such as footprints rather than its body, and their association with those described from distinctive bones is contentious and in need of revision pending more good material. Tá querendo ganhar do piuí no carreiro? Ai, fraco! Coitada! Virou em perna. Mas vai dar uma coisa nessa mão de mais. Tá filmando? Tô filmando? Nossa! Uhul! 50 quilômetros por hora. A Victorian driver who filmed himself laughing while deliberately running down and killing emus says he doesn't see the funny side anymore. 
The man's been charged after causing national outrage when he posted a video of the horrific act. This video sparked a nationwide manhunt to find the person responsible for a trail of destruction that's far too distressing to show. One, two, three. Now, 20-year-old Jacob McDonald told Seven News it was him behind the wheel mowing down a mob of emus. In the video, his excitement appears to rise with the growing death toll. Oh, this is great! I've got that one too, and that one. <laughs> no, it was a mistake, it's a silly idea. It's not funny anymore, it was at the time. McDonald, who lives and works in Kawanji, a small town near the South Australian and Victorian border, said the video was only meant to be for his mates. Yeah, someone's obviously not as good of a mate as I thought. After being shared thousands of times online, the RSPCA and police tracked him down. He's been charged with a string of offences, including aggravated cruelty to animals and is facing jail time. Yeah, that's what I get, that's what I get. Police will allege this is the road McDonald was driving down at speeds of up to 120 kilometres an hour when he committed the offence, just minutes away from the farm where he works. Yeah! Big stuff up in my life, not proud of it. And while deleting his social media accounts has sheltered him from some of the backlash, there are two people he can't hide from. His parents, his mum's a police officer. And what if they said to you? I'm a dumbass. He'll front a Victorian court in November. Lauren Rose, 7 News.
half to two hours with them. to avoid the thickets very carefully and they turn around as soon as they hit the wall of trees. Let's see if they do the same thing here. Picking away at whatever little pieces of greenery they can find. And of course if you haven't seen them before, it's the females there. Fascinating scene. 
interesting scene to behold. The scene <laughs> Oh, <laughs>